Hello, this is Tori with Landio. I'm excited to bring you this 58-acre wooded peninsula on Trinity Lake, bordering the Shasta Trinity National Forest, Northern California. So this is Trinity Lake. There's 17,280 surface acres on Trinity Lake, 19 miles in length. There's 145 miles of shoreline, and the maximum depth is 416 feet. And our 58.2 acre peninsula is located right here. And this property borders and is surrounded by the Shasta Trinity National Forest. The Shasta Trinity National Forest is the largest national forest in California and contains more than 2.2 million acres. Here's another satellite image with the property outlined in green. And this property boundary is consistent with the county GIS mapping system as well as the plat map for the parcel, the interactive map, and then multiple survey markers located on the property which we'll show you in some of the subsequent photos. So our privately owned parcel does not extend down to the actual lake itself because all of the lake and shoreline is public land and this lake is publicly accessible. And Trinity Lake was created back in the late 50s, early 60s, when they dammed up the Trinity River, which flows right down through here. And then this is the dam down here at the south part of the lake. And then on the interactive map, once we turn this federal and state land layer on, it then turns on all of the shaded area. This boundary here that you see outlined this is taken from the actual county GIS mapping system, which is then consistent with the plat map that we'll show you and the survey markers that are on the property. So where the shading is off slightly, we see this is very common. It's kind of a technical glitch with the shading of the public land. And this is in all states across the country. So just to clarify, our privately owned parcel is the only privately owned parcel on this peninsula. The entire north boundary, the northwest boundary, the west boundary, the south boundary, and the east boundary all border the Shasta Trinity National Forest. So as we look at the property on the interactive map, you can see all this green area is the Shasta Trinity National Forest. And all of these peninsulas that jut out here along Trinity Lake, all of these are part of the National Forest. We have the only parcel that is a peninsula actually on the lake. So this is truly a one-of-a-kind property. And here we are looking at the peninsula from the lake. This would be the westernmost point right here. And then here we are north of the property from the lake, looking at the northern portion of the property. So this would be the northern shoreline. And then here's the furthest west point of the peninsula. In the way that Trinity Lake is situated amongst these mountainous ridges, creates a natural protection from the winds, which creates extremely calm waters and a glassy-like surface, which is very desirable for water skiing and wakeboarding. The area is also extremely desirable for fishing and hunting. It offers fishing for trout bass, cockney salmon, along with smallmouth bass, largemouth bass, king salmon, and catfish. Before we go into additional photos of the property, I want to make sure that we provide a good layout of the land itself. So this is the plat map, and you can see the parcel highlighted here in green. So all of this area right here, this would be the Shasta Trinity National Forest. And then this black shaded area, this is the actual Trinity Lake. So here you have all around here the Shasta Trinity National Forest. And then bordering the entire east boundary, you have the Shasta Trinity National Forest, which then extends down here. This is a Feeney Gulch. And then this is referred to as Feeney Ridge that extends down to the tip of the property. So in this satellite view, you can see this area right here, which we'll see in the photos. This is to the kind of northeast corner of the property. And this is where there's an abundance of you know, fall foliage, trees with brightly colored leaves. And then this is the location of the trail that's on the property. Go back to this photo right here, looking at the peninsula from the lake. You can see that this property is covered with mature trees of varying species and sizes, including a variety of pines, firs, and cedars. Many of the trees are over 100 feet tall, some of them close to 200 feet tall, and provide a great opportunity if you wanted to use any of these trees 
for natural building materials. And even though the property has a slope as you go down towards the shore along the lake, there are multiple areas with level spots that would be ideal for building a cabin or a home or using it for camping and recreation. Here's another clearing amongst the trees. Here's another area where it's a gentler slope. Here we are looking towards the east up along a trail on the property. There are multiple survey markers on the property and here are a few more of those survey markers. There were also fresh wildlife droppings from various species of animals. So this is south of the property looking north. You can see how the property slopes down to the lake. And up here, there's the Trinity Center public boat ramp. This property is really only accessible by boat, but there are boat ramps and marinas all surrounding the property along the lake. And then this is the Trinity Center boat launch that we just pointed out in that previous image. Now we're southwest of the property looking northeast. Here you can see Mount Shasta, which has an elevation of over 14,000 feet. Now this is west of the property looking east. Now we're northwest of the property looking southeast. Here's another top-down satellite view. This is the area that would be on the north portion of the property that has some of those fall colors. And then here you see the trail that's on the property. Now we're east of the property looking west. So this is the furthest west point of the peninsula. And then here you can see the Trinity Alps. Now we're southeast looking to the northwest with more of the Trinity Alps in view. This is the topographic map and it's showing that the elevation right here at the high point of the property on the east boundary is about 900 feet and then that extends down here this right here this dark line this would be 800 feet and then down here it indicates that right here is 720 feet so the main elevation on the property ranges between 8 to 900 feet here we are zoomed out on the interactive map and this is our 58.2 acre peninsula right there and you can see that this property is literally surrounded by millions of acres of public land including mostly national forest land and then over here to the west you have the Pacific Ocean. These are some additional photos from the lake. This here is the northwest corner of the property where you see all that fall foliage and then these are photos from the property looking out at the lake which offers breathtaking views of the lake itself and the surrounding mountains. Then you're also in close proximity to Trinity Center just to the north where there's a boat launch. You have Weaverville there to the south. It's about 44 minutes away. And then Redding is just about an hour and a half away. Redding has a population of almost 100,000. From the boat launch in Trinity Center, it's just over six miles to the property. And then in Trinity Center, you'll find food, fuel, and supplies. There's an airport in Redding that offers both direct and commuting flights. Then you're about four hours from Sacramento, California, which has a population of around half a million. There's an international airport in Sacramento. And this area is also popular for gold panning. All these little dots on this map are recommended places for gold panning. You can see them in relationship to the 58 acre peninsula right here. So this property is literally a one-of-a-kind masterpiece. And we have it priced at just under $4,300 an acre, which brings the total purchase price to just $250,000. All of the property details are listed here on our website, including links to additional resources, GPS coordinates, over 100 images of the property and surrounding area, and this interactive map. If you'd like to purchase this one-of-a-kind property while it's available, please go to our website and click this Buy Now button. What that'll do is add a deposit of $499 to your cart, then click checkout. Once you click checkout, this window will appear where you can enter in all your information and then continue through the checkout process. Once the checkout process has been completed, we'll receive an instant notification that your $499 deposit has been made. We'll then take the property off the market, send you over a simple one-page purchase agreement, and arrange for the balance of payment. The remaining balance can be paid by wire transfer, cashier's check, credit card, debit card, or any combination of those methods. The $499 deposit is credited towards your purchase, and then we cover all of the closing costs. There are no additional commissions or fees, so the total purchase price is just the $250K. If you have any questions, our phone number is on the top of every page of our website. That number is 713-597-7670. That number also receives text messages. We also have a live chat feature here on our website where you can communicate with us in real time. 
If we're not available for whatever reason, please send us a message and we'll respond to you at our next availability. You can also fill out this contact form on our website or send us an email directly. Our email address is hello at landio.com. And this amazing property is evidence of the dedication that we have to bring you amazing properties at incredible prices. Through watching this video, you may be learning about Landio for the first time. Well, Others have been following us for years now. Some of you may have already purchased one or more properties from us in the past, and some may be considering doing so. Whatever stage you're at in the process, we want you to know that we truly appreciate you taking the time to watch our videos and share our properties and our website with all of your family, friends, and colleagues. We have a sincere passion for land, and we welcome the opportunity to have a conversation with you, so please feel free to call us anytime. And may God continue to bless you and your family.